Hi everyone, Sam Schaefer here. I'm the owner of Titanium Marjorie Products. Real briefly today, we're going to look at how to eliminate nearly all of the post-shot resonance that you might feel in a stabilizer. Now, you might think, well, that seems counterintuitive to what a stabilizer is supposed to do. A stabilizer does, in many cases, absorb a great deal of the resonance that's left, but in some cases, you'll still feel it. And depending on the particular bow setup that you have and the accessories that you use on it, you'll notice different responses from different uh, bows and different lengths of stabilizers, different brands of stabilizers. So that being said, there's a really simple solution to eliminating nearly all of that post-shot feedback that you'll get in your bow hand. This is something that occurs primarily on longer stabilizers. I notice it more so on bars of say 12 and three quarters and above. That's what is on this bow right here. This is the PSC EVO XF30, brand new bow for 2022. I'm already loving this bow. It's crazy. Bow shoots amazing, holds like a much longer axle to axle bow, draws easily, blah, 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 right? Point of this video, of course, is resonance. So let's talk about what you can use. We have parts that you can get They'll be very inexpensive to purchase from us. We have a lot of these in stock. I'll show you what it is. I found the best location for adding something to your stabilizer, hands down, is between the stabilizer itself and the riser, or in this case, between the stabilizer and the quick disconnect. So what we use is two washers. There's a nylon washer here, and you probably can't see it too well, but underneath is a neoprene rubber washer. So when you crank your stabilizer in there and you're tightening down against that QD pin, the nylon washer is smashing down on this neoprene piece and they almost bond themselves together in a way. So what you'll find when you use this is that you do have to turn the stabilizer in more than you would if you weren't using something like that, if you were mating hard surface to hard surface. But you'll find that you can get a spot where it's really tight, very well uh, maintained hold there. So you'll find that also over time, you're not going to get loosening. In some cases, of course, after hundreds of shots, a stabilizer can become loose just simply due to the sheer amount of vibration that's being absorbed. This will help prevent any loosening as well. So what we have exactly is in terms of dimensions, I'm gonna show you what we have here. This is a, a nylon washer. That is 0.7485, or that's a 0.75, so that's three quarters of an inch in diameter. The hole that it has inside is a little bigger than 5 16th. It's a 0.344, so it's just a little larger than a 5 16th diameter hole. And then the one underneath, the neoprene rubber, that does have a 5 16th diameter hole. They're easy to find. I mean, many cases you'll find them at a hardware store. If you don't have access to these and you want to eliminate post-shot resonance or nearly all of it, contact us. We'll get you set up with these really cheap and you'll be happy because if you've heard me over the years, I'm sure you have heard me say something about, about this, about vibration and dead in the hand and getting rid of resonance. And I've often said it doesn't really matter necessarily in terms of accuracy. I still feel that way. It has no bearing on accuracy. This is not uh, something that is occurring uh, perceptibly through the shot. It's after the shot. It's after the arrow is really impacting the target that you're able to pick up on this and get this feedback. But it, it causes maybe a little bit of a psychological issue, I think, with people because it's in the back of your mind. You're feeling that little bit of buzz. So in a hunting situation, you know, in the woods, things like that. Yeah, you don't notice that. I mean, think about guys that, you know, if you've gun hunted, you don't notice recoil, you know, really, if you're shooting at a, at a game animal, you're so in the moment. Well, that occurs as well with vibration on a stabilizer. So my focus has never been really about providing the most dead uh, experience. Our stabilizers did do that because of the materials, the high performance materials, but that's never really been the focus. Over the years, I've recognized that it does matter to a lot of people and they want that. So that's why I give you guys tips like this. That's why I get, offer little products that can help. So 
reach out Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. You can text. That's probably the best way. Or call also if you have a detailed question. Calling is great because then I can talk through things. 717-814-9169. And titaniumarcheryproducts.com is our website. Thanks a lot. Stay tapped out.